Yo, what's up guys and welcome back. Thank you for joining me once again on another Monday tutorial. Today is a very special tutorial because I'm going to teach you not only how to do a Tenkai Palm, which is one of the most used slights in card magic, but also I'm gonna teach you different applications. So this is a basic tutorial on how to do a Tenkai Palm, Tenkai Vanish and Transposition, but I'm gonna throw in some extra gems that I came up with. Uh, so you can do a color change, you can do all sorts of really, really cool things. So strap yourselves in for this tutorial because it's about to get lit. So I've, I've shown you a lot you can do with a Tenkai Palm in the little intro and I'm gonna teach you some of that. So we'll start with the basics. This is how to get into Tenkai through a Tenkai Vanish and basically it looks like this. Looks like the card seemingly goes away and you can pluck it back sort of out of the air. And all that's happening, and this is happening really quick and it'll take some time to develop uh, the quickness. Uh, it becomes a bit of a muscle memory thing, but as I'm motioning, I'm holding the card between the index and middle finger like this, kind of around the middle. And as I go in, my thumb is going to hold it there and apply pressure here. And that is the Tenkai Palm. And the idea when vanishing the card is that you wanna do it in a motion that's kind of like throwing and, uh, and the card stays here. Uh, a few tips on that is definitely, one thing I like to do is keep my thumb low. I see a lot of people doing this where the thumb is here and then they go like this and it's kind of like a disappearing thumb at the same time. And to avoid that, I basically keep my thumb here low as I'm gesturing this motion. And then once it goes here, it's basically there. Now, uh, important as well to note that the angles for the Tenkai Palm is basically this card, I've said this before, you've got lasers. Those lasers have to go directly to the person's eyes. And if you do that, you basically even open your fingers uh, from a Tenkai and switch it over to a lateral palm where your middle finger holds it here. Uh, but basically same thing for the Tenkai Palm, your hand is blocking, your hand is shielding. So if you're gonna bring your hand down, just bring it straight down, all right? Don't turn it here, don't turn it here. Just kind of keep it straight down like this, casually. All right, so you're going to vanish again. Uh, you can condition the eye and give them one, two, three, and then it's gone and kind of like, and, and one of the things that really helps is actually looking. Uh, people get misdirected by where you look. So if, for instance, my head is looking this way, and so if I'm here and I go like this, kind of people, people look that way too. It's just innately a misdirection. And then you can bring your hand down, so obviously you can't see the card. And that is the basic idea of the uh, Tenkai Palm uses a Tenkai Vanish. So just practice this. At first, uh, let's try with the left hand. This is probably, the left hand is probably what you guys are feeling like right now. Yeah, okay. So a lot harder with my left hand is probably what you guys are going through right now. So here brings it down, thumb. All right, so to get that quickness, it's going to definitely take some time to make that feel uh, more organic. And that is the Tenkai Vanish. Now let's get into a bit of a production routine. All right guys, before we move on, I just have to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare.com. When Skillshare hit me up to partner up on an integration on my YouTube channel, I thought it would be a completely organic fit if we did this during a tutorial. And the reason for that is Skillshare is a platform that basically is just tutorials for things that you wanna learn. Now I don't push stuff I don't believe in, so trust me when I say it, this is actually something that I use. One of the most requested questions I get asked on this channel is what editing software do I use, uh, whether it be my photos or my videos. And the answer is all of that lies within Skillshare. So it's basically like a curated YouTube without the ads in the middle, kind of kind of like this one, where you can learn any skill in and from an introductory level to a master level. And you're not jumping around from random video to random video. Uh, you can follow a list and you can follow specific artists. So basically it's 10 bucks a month. You can sign up and have access to thousands of videos teaching anything from drawing to videography to dance to anything you like. So recently I came across one of my favorite uh, Skillshare channels. This one right here, this guy takes photos and creates these uh, levitations with him. So levitation photography. He's got a whole account devoted strictly to levitation photography, which I thought was super interesting. Now, as a photographer, I'm like, eh, I kind of know how to do Photoshop. But then I started seeing these pictures and I was like, whoa, whole other level to levitation photography. So I've hooked it up, I signed up, and the stuff that I've learned, I'm applying right now to my photos, which is really cool. And here's where you guys come in, because the first 300 people to sign up using the link in the description that I've left below have two months completely free on the house, but only for the first 300 people so hurry up if you want to get in on it again I highly recommend this platform I think it's a really really cool thing for people to learn I think the next 
level of learning will be internet-based. I don't know if that's gonna be YouTube, and I don't know if that's gonna be Skillshare or some other website, but I'm all about promoting online learning. Eventually, this is gonna be our school. This is gonna be how we learn things, and this is gonna be how you learn things you're passionate about. You're not learning things that you don't care. You can specifically go to the things that you're passionate about and help create that passion and help foster that passion through these videos, which I think is really, really cool. So, so check out Skillshare.com, link in the description. Again, the first 300 people get two months free and then, uh, and then learn all you like. So back to the tutorial. All right, so for the production routine, you're gonna have a deck in your dealer's hand like this, and uh, you're going to have a card like this, getting ready for that Tenkai vanish. So again, middle finger and uh, an index holding the card like so. And all you're going to do is the same thing, but you're not going to throw it. I mean, you can if you're doing it from under, but I kind of like to follow the motion of where the card's going. So for instance, if I go in Tenkai here, the card's going down, so I want this hand to be down here because then it adds that, adds that little production value. Uh, if I'm going up, then I'll throw up. And if I'm going sideways, I'll go over here. The card's going this way, it's being retracted. So it kind of looks like it's appearing over here, like it jumped over there. So what you don't want to do is this card is going this way and this, it just doesn't make sense. So try to stay with that visual retention of the direction of the card. It kind of looks like it teleports over here, okay? So all you're doing for this, the get ready, you're just gonna push one card aside with your thumb and your middle finger is going to go over it. Meanwhile, your ring finger is, uh, is under it. And all you're gonna do for the production when you're ready is just this basically a twirling and straightening out your uh, ring finger. So from here, that's all you're doing. And a good little tip is to have the deck inclined. You don't wanna be like this and then produce it because that doesn't really make sense. So if the deck is inclined, kind of looks like a card is being produced out of nowhere. Okay, so you wanna follow that up simultaneously. And when you get it down quick enough, you can kind of make it really look like it travels. Now keep this hand loose, the hand with the Tenkai, just keep it loose. You know, you can use it to even hold this card, which is kind of nice. So if you're doing a little video thing, you know, you're here, you can hold this, boom. And now I'm still in Tenkai here. Kind of a cool visual retention that happens. All right, so for the next one, this is a very cool thing. I first seen this in the Devil's Picture book by Darren Brown, which I thought was really, really cool. Basically uses two cards, so you're gonna grab two. And uh, what you're gonna do here is uh, you're going to palm this card here. It doesn't have to be a good palm, but you're gonna so the back of the card is palmed and you see the face of the card here. This hand is gonna rest because this is the hand that goes to your pocket. Now you're here and in the action of looking like you're gonna grab this card, you're going to quickly Tenkai and then pull that card out. So all you're doing here is literally this, okay? So you're here, it kind of looks like you're going to your pocket. Boom, you can produce it again. All you're doing is the opposite. So you're grabbing that, producing it out looks like, and the misdirection happens because you're, you're, you're seeing the card. Boom, I just can't stop doing it. I'm looking at the camera right now. It just looks so good. This hand comes over, kind of like you're grabbing it. And as soon as you lose visual contact, this one gets palmed and this one, kind of like you're plucking it out of your hand. Now it's gonna take some practice to like coordinate those two so that you're not flashing every time. Use a mirror or use a camera. Just a cool little, cool little fun thing to do where like cards keep, sort of being produced out of uh, out of thin air. One thing you wanna know too is that don't come in like this, because you're gonna flash. So keep this hand basically this way until you're here. And then back to palm again, turn your wrist. Remember, not like this, but turn your wrist here. So as you come out, you're not flashing that card. And that is a fun little routine. Now, the way I like to close this routine out is I actually put the, this one into my pocket, produce this, and then I go to grab it again, but this time I've Tenkai'd it and vanished it. So all that is basically is it looks like you're grabbing the card, but you're just Tenkai'ing it at the same time. And this hand covers, right? And it happens really quickly. Kind of looks like it disappeared. Now from here, there are a few things you can do. You can do a little hand washing routine I like to do. So if I'm in Tenkai, I'm gonna drop it into uh, Gambler's Cop, which is here, okay? Which is the bottom here. And I do that as I come over to show this hand, okay? So I'm here, and I drop it. I immediately turn my hand and I kind of like, kind of like I'm washing my hands. The card's then here. I wanna turn, palm it. 
and then show this hand. And now I'm clean, now you can now you can produce it, you can do whatever you want. Just a cool little routine where bam, put this card in your pocket, whoosh, gone, show this hand, show this hand, make it appear one more time, do whatever you like with it. But uh, that's, a, that's a cool little routine you can do as well. So that was the work on the Tenkai Palm that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I uh, hope you guys practice and I hope I went into detail enough for all of uh, all of these little subtleties. It will take some practice to get that fluidity down, that rapidity, R fluidity, rapidity, syllables. So one more time, bam, here you grab this, put that to your pocket for real this time, produce it, grab it, throw it, drop it into cop, show this hand, right? Come over, palm it, so you're here, turning your hand. You don't wanna flash that, so just kinda of like turn your hand, palm it, and this hand comes up and over, does the same movement showing this hand, and then you're done. You're left clean, except not. <laughs> so do take your time with it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you do practice. Let me know in the comments which of these routines is your favorite, and uh, outro. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of information in this video and I really want you guys to study that, practice it. Don't take on too much. Try to grab like one of these routines or maybe just the vanish and, and practice that while sitting on the couch. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, drop a like if you did like it. And I also wanna thank Skillshare.com for sponsoring this video and allowing me to uh, kind of help me make this a living. And remember, links in the description for the first 300 people you get two months on the house uh, from Skillshare.com. So go ahead and check that out. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.